Filthy dog! What do you want now? Be quiet! Shut your mouth! Oh, that's the solution to that puzzle? Just, uh... Get the dog to start b start barking by mothing it, and uh, then that happens. Well, all right. I thought we were gonna like I don't know, find like a chew toy for the dog so it would start stop barking. That that was not the solution. <laughs> all right. Well, we're out. We're out of the restaurant anyway. Um, not exactly what we might have thought was this going to be the solution to that. Oh, hold on. The Red Nun? No, oh, come on, we've done that. Though I, I guess this would take place, this part takes place before Remothered 1. What? Is she welding her way through the door? Back into the restaurant. That was close. Oh. Calm down. I'm back to myself. You can trust me. What the fuck is going on here? What the hell is going on with the others? Listen to me. There's no time now. I want to get away from this place. Okay. I can help you escape, but you have to help me with something first. Jennifer, you have to trust me. I know what you are capable of, like what you did in the cold room. That voice. Was that you earlier on? I can feel what you are holding inside, and I know that you can hear me. Listen up. There's a dumbwaiter in the utility room on the balcony. I know how to find the key, but you have to guide me. Guide you? And how would I do that? Exactly how I did with you earlier. I guided you to use your gift, allowing you to escape. Stay here. I'll go ahead. Concentrate. Look inside yourself. Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go-ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. When you're saying use it, am I am I going to use moth powers? Is that what we're, is that what we should be doing? Like, there's the jukebox. Can I activate it with moths? Yeah, I guess so. comes. Yeah, Red Nun is distracted by that. Oh, she's going that way. I don't know how moths activated that jukebox, but they are very talented moths. Here we are. This should be a key somewhere. Ashman usually hides it here. Where the fuck is it? God damn it, I can't get to it. Can you manage to see a small key up there? Like on the top of one of these? Not there. Uh, my moth powers are uh, lasting a lot longer now than they do when I use them normally. Oh, hold on. Up here. Up here. The moths are telling you where the key is. Oh, fuck, fuck. No! She heard me. Oh, God. I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? I mean, there's a hiding place over here if you want to use this. Okay, I just had to point that out. All right, here comes the red nun. Can I bother her with moths? No, I'm not getting a pro. Okay, she has like a blowtorch. The scary floating blowtorch. Thank you. Hold on just a little longer. All right, don't mind the carcass of the dog. Oh, Red Nun's coming. Oh no! I guess the Red Nun saw her through the window? Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go-ahead as soon as I'm done. 
run outside and come meet me. Oh, maybe after she gets through the front door, maybe I should go through the front door then? Use it. All right. So when after she gets the key and starts heading to the door, maybe I need to head to the door as well. So, of course, in the first game, Gloria was the Red Nun. And since this does take place before the first game, I guess it could be that this is Gloria, but... Here we are. There should be a key somewhere. Ashman usually hides it here. Where the fuck is it? Up here. Fuck. No! She heard me. Oh, God. I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? In there. Should... I can't leave moth mode. About to say, should I start heading towards the door? But, uh, doesn't seem like I can leave moth mode. Alright, there she goes. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Objective, follow Eliza. Seems like I still cannot leave moth mode. Usually I can do that by tapping the D-pad. I can't go through the door. And then she's going to notice her. And then blowtorch. Hmm. So usually the way this has gone is I've pressed right on the D-pad to enter and exit moth mode, but this is a special... Well, let me... It says open the objective menu. Maybe just do that right now. Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. I can't enter the objective menu. Okay, now I can. It still says use a telephone in the lounge room to ask for help. That has not gone away. I wonder if that was supposed to go away. It seems like that's odd that that's still there. But okay, um, maybe I need to just use the moths to get through the door when she opens it. She closes it right away and the moths can't get through at that point, but maybe I'm just supposed to go through in that moment. Like I said, usually I press right on the D-pad to enter moth mode, and then I can press right again to exit. But this is a special story-related moth mode in which, uh, well, there's no time limit. Uh, there usually is a time limit. And it seems like I can't exit it. Here we are. There should be a key somewhere. Ashman usually hides in here. Where the fuck is it? Fuck. No! She heard me. Oh god, I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? Alright, she's gonna go in there. Uh, maybe let's right now just head towards the door. I'm still surprised that that was the solution to the dog puzzle. Hey, get the dog to start barking so the housekeeper will murder it. Here comes Eliza. Push against the door. There we go. I guess that's just what I needed to do. Or is it? We're not uh not getting any prompts. We're not do okay. That's not what I not what I needed to do. That was not what I needed to do. Whatever it is we're doing, there's not much time to do it because the red nun notices her like immediately. Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. I would like to run outside and meet her. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. I would like to do that. You ever part of, play a part in the game where you know they didn't intend for you to have to do this repeatedly? Like they intended for you to do it like once or maybe twice. And it's like, oh, like... 
like whatever it is they thought was obvious I'm, I'm clearly not seeing like this is supposed to be like meant to be like a cool little bit where you use your moth powers to escape the place but they don't really intend for anyone to actually die here there should be a key somewhere Ashwin usually hides it here where the fuck is it god damn it I can't get to it can you manage to see a small key up there does she get the key by the way Okay, yeah, it's gone. It's gone. She did get it. I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? So, like I said, whatever it is you do here, they clearly thought it was obvious as to what it was you had to do to get past this. Uh, so, I'm not getting any more information as to what it is I should be doing. I can't leave moth mode after the Red Nun goes away. She, uh, our friend will just go out quickly through the through the door and then get killed. I can't go back to Jen. Objective: like, follow Eliza. I can't follow Eliza in my physical form. I can't leave Moth mode. Pressing all the buttons to try to do that, and I can't. She goes through the door so fast, then it closes. You can follow her, as we saw, um, but it happens so fast, I wonder if that is actually what you're meant to be doing here. And then she goes out right away. Right. Is the enemy close? Sure is. She sure is. Uh, hmm. Clearly, I'm not understanding something about the sequence. Stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go-ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and... Okay, I just looked up what the solution was. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. All right, here we go. Let's do what we've been doing. Let's turn on this jukebox. Head to the bathroom. I'll creep forward a little bit if I'm not pressing anything. Through we go. There should be a key somewhere. Point out the key. Where the fuck is it? With moths. No, she heard me. Oh god, I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? In there. Okay. What do we do? All right. Apparently the solution is to use the jukebox again. Okay. It is glowing. We were on the other side of the room, though. I did not see the glowing. Red Nun leaves. coming no, no. hold on okay yeah, red nun's coming back this way distracted by the noise of the jukebox which distracted her from the ringing of the bell over here and you doing okay out there Oh, I bother her with moths. Hmm. Okay, she's heading up there. Alright, so now we're out of moth mode, and now we can stealth our way over to the door. Well, I mean, the bell's gonna ring if we open that door. Is that what we want to do? Well, is there? A, would there be another way of actually getting to her? Oh. 
I guess we don't need to worry about that. We not go through that door right now because we're being hunted. What about this one? No, can't go through that one. Can't go through the windows either, but it sounds like we've gotten far enough away that uh, the red nun does not notice us right now. All right, let's take let's take our time getting back. Maybe she'll go back inside the restaurant, and then we can go through that door. Never mind. Did she, like, see me through a window or something? I assume I still can't go through that. No, I can't. Oh, she's like right on me. Don't think I can work my way past. Doesn't seem so. My head. At least it checkpoints me here. Now. Unfortunately, doesn't seem like I can vault upwards, which would help in this particular situation. She's over there. Goes by the bathroom. All right, we're not in story mode anymore, so my moth time is very short. Is that a collectible? Looks like it. We've been getting some milk cartons with missing peoples on it. But what does it all mean? Oh, she's on the left. Going outside. Is she going to walk around or just hang out by the door? wonder where the other three people went, actually, thinking about it. I was being stalked by three people, and then the Red Nun showed up, and those three people are gone. Well, I know where one of the three people is. Like, one of the three, Eliza, became unmothered, 
and is now back to normal. Maybe the same thing happened to the other two. Is she just going to stay out there? No, she's coming back in. She's coming back in. Okay, the door's still open, so we're not going to hit the bell. And here we go. Hello? Tell me, what the hell is going on? Who the fuck was that? You've heard of that fire at the convent, haven't you? Well, not all of them died. <sighs> Gloria Ashman. Jennifer, you have to help us, I beg you. We are trapped in a hypnotic loop. As soon as the loudspeaker starts ticking, our minds go back into a limbo. I... 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 I, I don't understand. What can I possibly do? That... that thing lives down there. It has no effect on you. You can end the loop. <laughs> Is much time left. I beg you, please. It's in my head. I can't get out of the loop. Has no effect done you. You can end the loop. Well, I guess now we know the true enemy of the game, the PA system. I assume that the next objectives is going to be throw a brick at a speaker. I and mean, if we bust up the speakers, then the effect will not work anymore. Maybe that's not going to be what the objective is. It, that would, it sounds like that would work, though. This would be before all of the uh, the fun stuff has started to happen. We try to be so close when the night was fast. You and me, as long as so close when the night was fast. You and me. Oh dear, I uh, sorry. I thought I was alone. No, please continue. I'd prefer not to, really. I'm... I'm Jennifer, by the way. Lindsay? But call me Lynn. I'm sorry for earlier on. Don't worry about it. I was too intrusive. And I extremely rude. Oh, well, truce? <laughs> truce. <laughs> What were you doing here? I was just singing. I usually play the violin, but they locked it away as soon as I got here. <laughs> if you can play the violin even as half as well as you can sing, then you're a fucking master. <laughs> Nothing special. You got a great voice. And that song. Did you write it? I'm still working on it. I got an idea. 
There's a festival for artists with original songs. The winner gets a full scholarship at the conservatory. Here, look. The performance will take place in a theater. I say you should go for it. No, no. There's no way I would ever be capable of something like that. Why did you say that? First off, we are stuck here. Second, singing and playing the violin at the same time is too complicated. I, I could never do it on my own. I could do it with you. I play the piano. Listen, we can do this. Huh? Let's see how well this works. I don't know. And how would we even get there? We could talk to Ashwin. Well, at least to hit the hoop. Yeah, dream on. <laughs> it's only two weeks away. We can work on it together. All we need is a music sheet and a bit of practice. I know the piano so well that it's basically a part of me. But the lyrics are nowhere near finished. My father used to tell me that nothing, not even time, can get in the way of something you truly desire. Where are you from? <laughs> it's a nice story. She's unconscious. Still don't know what that means in relation to basketball. And the crowd goes wild! Woohoo! Oh no, I think I lost the three point challenge. Have you ever tried one? Sure. Why not? Fuck it. <laughs> when the smoke is about to enter your throat, you exhale. Did you know they made it for a movie? Seriously? You bet. Before saying goodbye, it was a great hit in the 60s. Have you never heard of it? No. My parents brought me to the cinema to see it. As soon as we got home, my father taught me how to play the theme song on the piano. <laughs> Would you like it if we were to watch it together one day? You bet. Wow, we went from not knowing each other to frolicking in the grass together really fast. Like zero to 60 on that. Oh, LBRB. How you doing? Not really sure about the status of him, like if he's a ghost or whatnot. Don't give up now, <laughs> Moth ghost. Just want to tell you, mashing LB and RB in particular is a fun motion for your fingers. What is this place? The underground lab? Wow. Usually in a survival horror game, you don't get to the underground lab until the end. Oh my god. No, no. Murderers. Fucking murderers. It's not too late. Turn back.
I mean, where would we go, though? This is where we live. It's not like we really have access to any place else. It seems like it's kind of in the middle of nowhere during the winter. Various documents and newspaper extracts. It almost looks like a sociopath's hideout. I mean, I know that only sociopaths enjoy documents and newspapers. It's a sure, it's a sure sign. Oh, we're here from the uh, room from the beginning. Moth key? Still have not used these moth keys. It looks like the reception of an old hospital. Or something similar. Maybe I should. I got some iron wire. I wanted to see if I could add the butcher attribute to a weapon, but it doesn't seem like I can. But I can craft a... Let's see. Stun and damage enemy, stun and damage enemy. So they both do the same thing. We can, we can craft them. Now I have a poison baby doll. The most devious of all kinds of baby dolls. An icebreaker. Can I... Yeah, I can craft that with the iron wire to give it the butcher power up. Why do you think he would have, like, a, a dumpster in a basement? I mean, I, I'm, I'm guessing they didn't really think about that, because they've been putting dumpsters in strange places. Just as, you know, objects in the background, or maybe something you can move. What? Oh. This is an upgrade tree? Uh, let's see. Improves the ability to block doors to keep stalkers away. Mini game against stalkers trying to break through a door you're blocking. We have not done such a mini game as of yet. Skills. Improves stamina and speed. I mean, that in general sounds like a good thing. Sprint duration improved by 5%. Oh, I have two. Do I really have 210 moth keys? It says in the lower right. There's no way I picked up that many. I, I assume that one moth key counts for more moth key points than one. Yep. Okay, shadow. Reduces noise when moving. Improves proficiency inside hiding spots. That sounds good. Sharpness. Increases proficiency with defense items. The self-defense minigames when a stalker attacks slightly easier. Health. Improves health recovery. Health recovery speed while crouching. I don't. I did not know we could get our health back by crouching. Increased by 5%. Tool wizard. Improves proficiency in using diversion items. Well, I haven't actually been using those, so... Survivor unlocks special abilities when health is critical. Noise from movement reduced by 2%. I mean, we don't really want our health to be critical, though. Luck adds a chance to obtain special bonuses when picking up items. Adds a chance that after acquiring a moth key, you're gifted another one. That sounds all right. Mother Acherontia improves proficiency when using the moth eye. Increases range and duration of highlight effect. I mean, that the duration is very short. It might be good to extend that. Um, let's see. Stamina and speed sounds good. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna level that. Okay, now we're at one. What about the Acherontia? Yeah, increase that. I have 200 moth keys left. Okay, so this is what we're using the moth keys for. We upgrade our skills, which I did not really expect to happen. Um, let me look at that again. We have not blocked the door as of yet, so... I mean, that we might in the future. Uh, let's see. Ta -da. Hmm. That could be good. Adds a chance that after acquiring a moth key, we're gifted another one. Spend moth keys to make moth keys, I guess. Level two on that is one out of five times upon finding a quick defense item, it will already have the corrosive power up we have not seen the corrosive power up the ones i already leveled up just um improve by another if i level up again um 
Let's improve our proficiency with hiding spots. Why not? Well, noise from movements reduced. Noise from movements reduced is good. We can do that. Level 2 is slightly reduces difficulty of the hiding spots minigame. Um... Yeah, let's improve our Mother Akarotia thing again. Um, maybe it would be good to find a knife that has the corrosive power up. Level 3 on that is increases the likelihood of being gifted a moth key by an additional 15%. Yeah, sure. One out of five times, finding a quick defense item will have the butcher power up. That sounds alright, but maybe we also want to spend some moth keys on more of Mother Akarotia. And maybe some uh, some escape. Sprint duration improved by 10%. Sure. Stamina increased by another 10%. All right. And level 5. Hey, why not max this out? Sprint duration improved by another 15%. Stamina increased by 15%. Okay. Escape has been maxed out. And we still have some moth keys to spend. We'll spend one on... Acarontia. Why not max out Mother Acarontia? There we go. That's done. Well, 20 keys left. We could get a level 4 on luck. There we go. Level 5 would be increases likelihood of being gifted a moth key by another 50, 50%. Alright, well, once we have 25 moth keys, we can um, get level 5 on that. Okay, so there's a skill tree in this game. Deposit my moth keys. Turn the dial. And uh, my firmware has been flashed, I suppose. Oh, what's this over here? Sarah Stella Picozzi. So what is the deal with all these missing children? Save point. Sure. Let's save a game. Well, in our previous flashback, we saw the two friends, Jess and Lynn, deciding that they maybe were going to try to get Lynn into that competition. And I suppose uh, maybe later we'll see a flashback that shows how that goes wrong and how... Jen a ends up uh, breaking her arm. We don't know exactly how that went yet. All right. Can we go through here? No, there's no prompt. There was no prompt in the beginning of the game either. But behind here, behind this glass, we can see there's like a an ominous looking chair. With a whole bunch of mirrors in the room, I guess? We also remember... That, uh, at the beginning of the game, porcelain showed up. Can we get through that? No, we can't. Coming out of the vents. So, is porcelain, like, a real person, or is he, like, a moth ghost? Or maybe he infects people with moths, so they see him as a ghost. Like, when we saw his sword, well, his cane come out of the wall in that one room. Him again. Professor Wyman. Oh, Jesus, he makes my stomach turn. Albert Ilias Wyman. All right, that's the way we came. Maybe porcelain. Oh, it's a TV. Wyman couldn't possibly have used the business's finances to fund the experiments without someone noticing, which means that Ashman knew everything. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that everyone was in on the whole experiments thing. I don't think uh, every, anyone was in the dark. Well, the, the nuns were. The nuns didn't realize they were being experimented on. But uh, like I was saying, maybe it'll turn out that porcelain is just like, I don't know, 
like a, a hallucination and that the actual Wyman is causing that hallucination with moth powers. I'm thinking something like Evelyn from RE7. Will we find the wizened Wyman in a wheelchair somewhere? Well, this is where porcelain came out back at the beginning. Well, something changed when I came out of that door this time. This TV was on. Though the commercial from the beginning of the game is not on. Why don't we use our moth power? Can moth powers show us anything? Can they show us the way? Well, oh, can we? Well, it's very dark in, in the... I guess we can go through these vents. It's very dark in the vents. It's hard to see where we're going. And we don't have that much time to actually do anything in the vents. Actually surprised that we were able to do that. What if, um... Look at the vents here. Well, I'm on top of the vent. I don't need to be on top of the vent. I don't actually know if I need to be in the vent at all. But we might as well try it out. In we go. This is just probably where the vent comes out on the other side. Oh, I don't think I can go forward anymore. Does not seem like it. What about down there? Can moths go through that? Um, there's something blocking it. I can't can't go through that. Oh, wait. There's a prompt on this. Well, I threw a switch, but the power was already on in here. What did that do? I want to drop my my icebreaker since it has the butcher power up. Can I interact with this dumpster? Can I manipulate it? Does not seem so. What did this do? Well, there's a button on it, so you'd think that switching that would do something. Power is on, regardless of whether that switches up or down. And, uh, porcelain is not coming out of there yet. Is there anywhere I could send the moths? Like, I tried going up the vent, but it didn't seem like there was anything in there, and then I ran out of time. Anything that I'm not interacting with so, with so far. Oh, there's something on the wall here. No wonder. While everyone thought you were dead, you were down here, playing the role of the happy surgeon. Let's see, Wyman's suicide, no news. The ongoing investigations regarding Professor A.E. Wyman's suicide haven't produced significant evidence to keep the case open. The suicide bears some mysterious clues which suggest that it might have been staged. However, the authorities have decided to terminate investigations and close the case. Alright, well we got an archive item about that. See, Wyman, if I remember this right, Wyman's good name and reputation were ruined! After the uh, phenoxyl experiments came to light, and I believe uh, the Feltons and the Ashmans blamed Wyman, making him the fall guy, even though they were they all knew about it. Uh, 
And uh, in the first game, there was an angry letter written from Wyman to Richard on that subject. Quite angry, quite displeased about the whole thing. So maybe this whole thing is like a, a revenge plot. What is this switch for? There's a switch and I can just keep flipping it up and down. Don't think there's anything on this side. At least we can still do sweet vaults. There is that. They cannot take that away from us. Hmm. Yeah, we already saw that. Anything relevant about this cage? Doesn't seem like it. Here are my moths. Can my moths d go anywhere or do anything? Can they notice anything from uh, this higher position? Sometimes things glow. When I'm in moth mode. Sometimes. Not noticing any glowies, though, this time. Maybe we could try in here. not go into the dumb waiter. You ever get that feeling that you just you know you're not on the same wave wavelength as a game that they clearly feel that there are certain things that are obvious you're just not seeing at all. Like this room's an example. Um we're wandering around this room, we found some items, we found some collectibles, some things to read. There's this TV that turned on, we found that check. Um, we found, like, a switch in here that you can just turn on and off. Uh, but there's nothing else to do, as far as I can tell. There's a, a door that we cannot open that leads to another room with a chair in it. Uh, there is nothing happening. And nowhere to go, and nothing to find, and the moths are not showing me anything. The fact that nothing's happening and the fact that the game is not actually uh, hinting at anything makes me feel like the intention was that it, what we do next sh is supposed to be obvious, that the player is supposed to know what it is that they should be doing next, that there would be no need for an additional hint or anything. That's the feeling I get from this. It's sort of like when we were doing the Red Nun thing before and I kept dying immediately when uh, Eliza went outside and I said, they don't intend for you to keep dying like that over and over. They, they surely don't. Like, they, meant, they clearly intended that you would know what it is you need to do to stop that from happening. Um, and I just, was, it, I just was not getting that. Well, here's another thing to read. Maybe that's, this is what we need to find. This is how it all started. Gloria managed to obtain control of the other nuns, becoming Mother Acruncia. All right, so this seems like an important uh, document. Maybe this is what we needed to find. I managed to reproduce the connection of the moths to their mother, Acherontia. Synthesizing the parasite is what made Phenoxyl Prototype 2 a success. The leaders of the Crystal Morenti see me as their leader, an extension of their own thought. To justify the photophobia, yeah, it was people who um, were exposed to the drug have a sensitivity to light. That's a side effect. To justify the photophobia, which they inherited from the Acherontia, I convinced them that the damage to their sight was instead a gift from God. However, I have identified one who attempts to prevail over her companions, Gloria Ashman, and often rejects me as the leader. I am beginning to feel the influence she has on others, as an antagonistic leader, as new Mother Acherontia. If things were to get out of hand, I will have no other choice but to opt for a collective hypnosis, despite the risk of entering the... Porcelain phase. The Fracture. A.E. Wyman. 
All right. He wanted to become the leader of the nuns just, you know, for giggles. What if I could become like a cult leader of a group of nuns? Why not? And then Gloria was like, no, I want to be the leader. And Wyman's like, oh, no. Okay, that's what we needed. Noxil, created as a byproduct of synthesizing the moth parasite known as Acherontia, its use leads to a parasitic infection. By emulating the moth's behavior, phenoxyl can result in a collective hypnosis in which multiple individuals are forced to obey a leader or a mother Acherontia. Collective hypnosis. The leader uses a person known as the medium as a channel and amplifier for other subjects. When the medium is surrounded by mirrors to simulate a fragmentation of the mind, the parasites awaken and spread. The start. The leader uses a recall element for the medium called the anchor. This can be a nursery rhyme or a song, and it's this that initiates the hypnosis. The leader acquires full control over everyone else through the medium. A collective consciousness starts. The ending. The leader can interrupt the loop by awakening the medium with a push, another nursery rhyme or a song. When the infected subjects and the medium wake, everything that happened during the hypnotic phase is forgotten. The collective consciousness breaks. The fracture. If a collective hypnosis is abruptly interrupted, there is a risk of fracture also called the porcelain phase. Here, the leader's consciousness becomes fragmented and is then absorbed by the medium. The body of the leader becomes wholly controlled by the Acherontia, while the leader's mind remains trapped inside the medium, gradually unable to control his own body. Meanwhile, the parasite continues its expansion in the infected subjects. Collective hypnosis will occur regularly, until another potential leader intervenes to break the looping cycle. What happened? And this drug does not seem worth it. I mean, look, we a lot of us have had bad things happen to us in the past. Maybe it's just fine to live with those memories instead of dealing with the side effects. Okay, I might become the mind slave of Ming the Merciless. But if I'm able to take advantage of him during the porcelain phase, maybe I can replace him as leader and subsume his personality into mine. What's that? It looks like there's light coming from that wall. Hmm? Which wall we talk? This one? You can push this now. It's a hidden door. Bingo. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, that's a dead end there. Oh, moth key. We need to reroute power to that. Can we go in there right now? Or. Yeah, we can. Why do we want to reroute power to this? I guess there's a reason. Did Wyman really believe that it was possible to suppress pain or a disease with a fucking psychotropic? Is it supposed to be the myth of the super fucking man? Phenoxyl, the evolution of psychiatry. The human mind itself is responsible for the emotional, physical, and sensory inhibi inhibitions of the organism, such as fear, pain, and disease. These factors limit the survival, development, and evolution of the genus. Phenoxyl, through hypnosis, will prove itself to be the only means of breaking down and repressing human barriers, desensitizing the organism. It is all in our heads, a conviction of weakness, even death itself. All right, so we need phenoxyl in order to jumpstart our evolution uh, of humanity. It's all for the greater good, you understand.
Is that a thing down there? I'm not getting a prompt for it. Yeah, there's like something there. But I'm not getting the prompt for some reason. Like, there's like a little white dot on it. But the A prompt is not showing up, which is odd. Not sure what that's about. All right, well, we need to reroute the power to go to that projector room. I guess there are some movies we can watch. Just looking at things we can pick up. Most of it are distraction items and weapons that would replace things that we already have. But since we already have them, you don't really need to pick up new ones. Like, if I was actively using these distraction items and weapons, I'm sure I would be picking up a lot more of them. But I haven't really been using them. Alright, well, let's look at objectives. Reroute power to the projection room. Alright, well, this is the projection room. That is a bottle. I already had ammonia bottle. All right. Is, where is power? Where is the power to be rerouted? Like when they say reroute power, is there like a fuse box or some such that can be used to reroute the power? What does it mean to reroute the power? Like if someone if if you're like in a house and someone tells you can you reroute the power to this room what would you do what do you think would be the answer to that I'm like I I don't I'm not I don't know how to do that Like I would figure there's like a some fuse box or something like that somewhere around that we would use to reroute the power but I'm not seeing something like that. I'm just seeing a whole lot of, uh, like, defense items and weapons that we could pick up. There's, like, a phone over here, but I guess we can't use that. And, uh, we keep coming to the dead ends on either side of this hallway. I mean, I could keep going up and down the hallway, but I've been doing that. Like, we know what's going to happen if I walk down here. We're going to get to a dead end, as we have been doing. Well, we could go back through this, this door here. Maybe if we go to that one switch... Maybe that can reroute power? Like, I, we didn't know what the switch does. Okay, that, 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 it was that. That was the rerouting power switch. Oh, no, we already, already read that. I already read that. You can hit this one, yeah. Nope, I already read that. Okay. Can we watch a film? Their retinas became extremely photophobic, and their, their 
position was permanently damaged. The Feltons and the Ashmans used me as a scapegoat. Those goddamn traitors. And despite everything, I managed to convince Stefano Ashman to offer me some protection. I was left with no choice but to stage my own death. The parasite had completely crippled the Mun's minds. They had gone mad. They, they used to recognize me as the leader, but once the parasite started taking over, I was expelled from the hierarchy. I was no longer the mother of Adronosha, and because of them, the disease started to spread in the nearby area. I too was soon infected. I never thought that Gloria Ashman would survive the fire. I... She intends to take the role of Mother Archinosha. So I can't let her do that. I, I have to carry out a group hypnosis in order to get everyone to kneel to me again. Her two were storing me as their leader. But that porcelain face, the fracture, the fracture, though, is what I fear. All of the subjects could be forever left anchored to one another and be stuck in an hypnotic loop with no hope of salvation. The parasite. The parasite could, could choose to independently take over one of the subjects, making him or her the, the leader, contacting everyone to a single mind. Setting everyone in an hypnotic loop. Fuck! Not again! What? What, what the hell is going on now? Well, we got some baby crying. Why is Wyman doing this, by the way? Like, if I remember this right, the origin of the research into Phenoxyl had to do with Richard's father, who was traumatized by uh, his experience during wartime and wanted the development of the drug that could be used to erase traumatic memories. How did this end up turning into, like, this mass mind control hypnosis drug? I know, I know, parasitic moths. I guess we found Wyman's hidey hole. Ooh, moth key. Oh, the nail gun. How did it end up here? I have to carry out a group hypnosis in order to get everyone to need to me again. Her two were storing me yourself. We are trapped in a hypnotic loop. As soon as the loudspeaker starts ticking, our minds go back into a limbo. How on earth does this work? There you go. All right, we did it. Uh, ask, ask for help. Use the microphone. All right, it's right here. Well, I guess we should run. Yep, run away, it says. Let's go through the se Go through the secret do well, I mean he's right here. Up, oh, secret door's open. Fed on through. Defeat porcelain by using the lights. Alright. I mean, I guess he wouldn't like this light either. Uh, 
Ah, okay. There's like a... There's like a QTE for this. Oh, okay, there you go. We, we, we time it. He doesn't seem to mind the lanterns. Right, he's already broken this one. This was the other one we just used. Was there another one uh, on the other side of that secret door? Yeah, there is one here. There's a, there's a few here, actually. He is fast, though, is the thing. Like, he catches up to you real fast. Oh, when, when she said it's gone, it meant that she meant he was going away. Okay, he's out. He, he went out of here, I guess. Probably could do with healing ourselves. There we go. And why don't we save a game... All right, well, we learned more about this stupid, stupid plot. Um, so it said that Wyman convinced one of the nuns to set fire to the convent. Of course, it was Rosemary who burned down the convent, so Wyman convinced her to do it, um, which she did because he just he did not like the idea that he was no longer the leader. Um, he had to make sure that he would become the leader again. It just could not accept someone else being the leader is the thing. Look, if you're going to play with mind control moth drugs, you have to be open to the idea that maybe you're not going to be the leader. Not everyone can be the leader. Um, uh, okay, so everyone's caught in the infinite hypnosis loop. And I, like I said, maybe the easy solution to this is just to break all of the speakers. But I kind of assume it's going to be something more complicated than that and something having to do with moth drugs. The moth drugs intensify as remothered broken porcelain continues. Are we are we all right? Like, it looks like that we feel our injuries, but she's like clutching her gut, like swaying around. I'm not sure if she's all right. Even if she is, what would we do from this point? Like, I mean, I think that I'm probably done for right now, but that door still is not open. Like, it didn't seem like there was actually anywhere to go from here. Well, no, I mean, I guess there is one thing we could do. That objective says that we should use the microphone to call for help. So, hey, why don't we just do that before we go? Uh, test. There we go. Anybody there? Lynn! Can anyone hear me? I'm trapped down here. Can somebody help me? Lynn! Lynn, tell me you're there! Anyone! Somebody! Somebody help! I'm down here in this shithole! Lynn! Lynn! If you're there, can you hear me? Why is she yelling at it? Okay, I was about to say, why is she yelling at a door? But I guess that I guess that panned out for her. Jennifer! 
Oh yeah, she was there. How about that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was never upset with you. It's okay. I understand. I fucked up. And you were right about everything. Jen? Jen? 